Okay, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, now we're gonna get into sweeps, swept blend. Uh, we'll, we'll look at some uh, shell shell commands, and uh, we might even go into some uh, patterns and mirrors. Uh, but let's 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 do sweeps and sweep blends first. So, like any 3D feature, you start with a sketch, you start sketching. Uh, but what a sweep is essentially um, it's, it's a 2D section that you drag across a path and a path is defined by a sketch that I just made so if I make something here using a 2D sketch it is going to be dragged and extruded across this line and you can already imagine why that would be a powerful tool so you make the sketch and then you select that sketch, click sweep. And you should be confused now how to actually sketch the section that you want to drag across. Uh, this little area right here, just click this or just hover over this and it says create or edit sketch. Uh, we just click that and it will give us the option. Now how to actually, you know, position the sketching area, you just click this handy button and this is the point where we're gonna sketch something so so let's sketch something interesting um, a circle is very interesting uh, uh, let's do that this I'm making this way more complicated than it needs to be but you know see uh, let me So we're going to scratch. I really hope this doesn't look like anything other than a very ambiguous shape because that's I'm really not going for it. So actually, right there, we can already see what's going to happen. That shape is going to come across here and it's going to go up until this point. Uh, okay. So the moment I hit this, you're going to be going like, whoa, what? So let's, let's do it. And see right there, it almost looks like wiring or something. Um, but you see, you can see how nice this looks, and this is very powerful. This is how you make uh, extrusions in, in, you know, curved pattern paths and uh, areas. But th there's something that you might notice that you only draw one section, and it remains the same throughout the entire path. What if we want to change the size at the end? So an example of that would be, let's say, if we want to make a saxophone right because you know we we want to do that who wouldn't hold on let me see what a saxophone is because i might not uh let's see yeah that's that's what i meant uh so we're gonna make a saxophone and it totally looks like this in 2d and we're gonna do a sweep blend we're gonna select the sketch again but this time we don't have the sketch section tool and you might be going whoa what's happening uh, then I'm gonna uh, direct your attention towards these tabs references sections uh, whatever but we're concerned with the sections now we got two options sketch sections select the se sections we're gonna sketch them and we're gonna sketch them right here wherever the X is red is can where you're gonna be sketching uh, the immediate sketch so the moment you hit sketch oh wow that's exactly the opposite of what I just said well uh, okay so let's just get it uh, so we're, we're gonna make a tiny circle here this is you know the mouthpiece because everybody's mouth is that big it's probably like 50 inches across all right so that's sketch section one now we're gonna do section two so we're gonna insert another section right here we're gonna say sketch and now it takes us to the second uh, point. And this time we'll make a bigger circle, right? And now the moment we hit OK, it's going to drag across this path, but it's going to get bigger as it gets closer to this point. See right there, this is totally, this is more of like a horn. Uh, that's, that's what I was going for. I wasn't really going for a saxophone. I was going for a horn because and look at that, it's kind of warped here. I don't know what that's what's happening over there, but um, oh, 
I know what's happening. Oh, that's actually a cool, cool thing. So, when you go across here, there's a certain size, but it, the, this curve right here, it's it's changing and it's getting bigger up until this point, and it has this effect of al almost bending and having like an umbrella thing going. Well, that's interesting, but that's that. So now that we have this, we can uh, examine this shell feature. Uh, we can click this and we can select the entire part. That is not what I want to do. Uh, so shell feature, you select the area you want to shell. And we select the area here. And we select the thickness. Okay. Whoa, what's happening over here? Is that interfering? So what we just did, this I think this thing is interfering. Uh, let, let me try that again. Shell. Huh. Let me let me uh, modify this uh, sweep lens so we don't have that problem. Uh, second section right here. Sections there remove insert insert a new sketch and we're gonna make the circle slightly bigger just not too big okay now we don't have that little bulge there let's try the shell command now we click shell and look at that it was working nicely so see so now we can now we can conclude that 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 is bad it's desired then it's good so we click shell we hold down control we select the two surfaces and it's going to shell across it uh, so we, we're starting here and we're ending here and it's hollow all the way through you can see the light that's not the light I'm joking all right so but but I'll show you exactly why this is shell you can kind of hover over it and see the path that it's going through but if you don't believe that you can use this fancy tool called sweep section sweep section something with a section a section view there we go so we select uh, hold on let me let me explain where that was so we're in model right now and we go to uh, view we, when we go to view when we hit section view and when we hit section view we can select the plane and from that plane we can drag across and as you can see wow that looks very cool look at this oh so, so, so see how it's hollow all the way through. So if you didn't believe me, you should believe me now. Look at that. That looks very cool. It's like a snake. Mm, okay. All right. Uh, but that, that's that's you know that's a handy nice feature to you know closely examine things. So this video we went over sweep, sweep lens, shell, and how to use the section view. Um, what else can I explain? Let's let's try adapt. That. Nah, screw it. All right, whatever. I don't I don't even know how it works. I just I thought I would. I don't know what I thought. All right, so that's that's it for now. Um, uh, that's uh, that's yeah, that's it.